Gentlemen, welcome to Wisconsin State Roleplay. I just parked up with my KF5, came down to the city and got it out of the impound line. Just now I'm vaping, I'm just stressed out. So I got like, uh, I think it's like, uh, not the three milligram. I think it's the, I think it's the either the five or the ten. I mean, I finished my bottle and I threw it out the window, but. It's a uh, it's straw lemon. I'm, I'm vaping on. Oh shit! My phone's going off. I wonder. I don't know how to work this thing. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I think it was a tweet. Let me go check it out. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's put my vape thing. All I got is my vape left. At least it'll get a nice vape smell in here. Fucking smoked it to the stinger, man. Man, I miss the days me and Dick used to be in the car smoking and just hot boxing the fuck out of it. When we were younger, when the vapes first came out, man, we used to fucking sit there and hot box the car. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Get out of here, man. Let's put my vape up. Let's see about on. Fuck. How am I gonna get out of here? Shit. I can take this alley, can I? Yeah, I'm just gonna take this fucking alley, man. I think I'll make it through the alley. Oh shit. I don't know about over here. Oh yeah, so we're good. We're good. Yeah, I wasn't waiting for that fucking nonsense. You sit in the traffic for hours, man. Oh shit, there's a cop up there. Is there anyone in there? I don't know if anyone, I don't see anyone in there, man. Oh yeah, there was someone in there. Just fucking sitting there doing whatever the fuck he wants, you know. Better off. Go look around, see if I see him. Pull up just a little. It's the one thing that annoys me about this K5. It's hard to shut the door. It's got like some rusty hinges. And I had to go back to uh, Dickie's hotel. I put on his clothes because. My other shit, I mean, let's just say some stuff happened that you're going to see in a future episode that's going to come out. The bartender Becky gets what she deserves, just, just put it that way, so those clothes are kind of disgusting right now. Let's see, uh, let's check see if he's in the, in, in, in the body of water, man. Let's see. Fuck. Nah, no, this, this shit's clear. Damn. Fuck. Is he over here? Sometimes he hangs out in the, in the buildings and whatnot, just hangs around. You know, they all got the unlock signs on there, so no one's using this does. Fuck. I don't know where he could be, man. Fuck.
pants barely fucking fit me. Can't find my fucking brother, man. It's fucking bullshit. Oh shit, is that a fucking cop, man? Better not be fucking with my car. That's a parking spot, man. Fuck. Yo, where the fuck is my car at? What car? I had a K5. Oh, wait, it's over here. I thought you were towing it, you fucking pig. I literally thought the cop was towing it. I was fixated on the cop because I went down those stairs over there. Got fixated in that fucking cop. I thought he took my fucking car. So worried about fucking Dicky. Maybe that was the cop that killed him. I don't know who killed him. I think it was Greasy that said that. One of the cops admitted that they killed him. It's fucking bullshit. Fucking pig. Ah. I could be. I could. I could see if he's at the burger shot. Be a hard pass. He likes club and bell better. Oh shit! That was a guy parked right there. Maybe the cop lives there, I don't fucking know. I think it's green, I'm just gonna fucking go. Oh shit, no, it was red. Whoops. Let's see if he's in the fucking burger shot, man. I doubt it. Got these fucking rusty hinges, man. It's fucking hard to shut sometimes. Come on. There we go. Hey, I'm looking for this guy. Uh, he he kind of looks like me. Uh, he's got white hair like me. Uh, he wears hippie clothes. I mean, these ain't hippie-ish, but I mean, it's all I could find to put on. But yeah, he's got like hippie clothes on. His name's uh, Dicky Icky Cheese. No? You never seen no other hippies walking? Just me? That's fucking profile. I'm not a fucking hippie. I mean, fuck you. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Fuck them. Call me fucking hippie. The fuck? I'm tired of this fucking town. First it's the fucking cops. Now it's these fucking workers. It's fucking bullshit. The fuck? I ain't fucking, I ain't got fucking time anymore. Fucking stressed. Fucking like, fucking call me a hippie, that's fucking profile. The fuck? 
that kind of way. Hello? Who's this, Mickey? Who, who, who's this, man? It's Marcus, motherfucker. Oh, shit. What's going on, Marcus? Yeah, I heard you was in Wisconsin. Allegedly. Yeah, huh? Well, I got your boy Dickie here. What? 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 Oh, oh no. yeah, I got. Oh yeah, I got Dickie. Oh no! Hey, no. hey Dickie! Hey Dickie! Over here! Hey, come here! No, no. Oh wait, never mind, Honey. He's tied up. Oh okay. no! What, what, what's going on, man? <coughs> Dickie! Iggy, you gotta help me, man. Shut the fuck up. What, what, you better what, shut the what, fuck what, up, what, man. What, what's going on, man? Shut the fuck up, Dicky. Dicky, Dicky, help me, man. Where you at, man? Where, where you at, man? I don't, I don't even know, man. I'm inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Listen here, Mi listen here, Mickey. You guys owe me a lot of money. I don't give a fuck what Pedro said. He's going down. Zuko, Jose, Paco. Every single one of them are going fucking down. Okay, come on, man. You no. owe me money, Mickey. You owe me more than a fucking million dollars. And if I don't have it by tomorrow, Dickie's throat is getting cut. No, 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 man. no, 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 man. Don't, don't cut my throat. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Quit, 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 quit. Quit. No, just stop. No. What are you doing, man? Uh. I'm beating the fuck out of him. No, 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 quit. He's about to get a shovel up his ass here in a second. Where the fuck you at, motherfucker? Well, don't worry about it. I'll come find you, son of a bitch. No, where the fuck you at, motherfucker? Uh, you don't want to know. I'm going to find you. Oh, you ain't going to find me. I'll find you. I'm going to find you, man. Don't worry. The, the fuck? The, the, the fuck? Shit. Fuck. I don't know what to do, man. I'm scared. I don't know if I want to go. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know what to do. Fuck. his wife. Fuck. Hey, I had the fucking right away, dummy. Fucking what's cancer drivers? Don't have a fucking drive, man. What's going on? What's going on, man? Man, can I get some money or rub? I mean, I ain't got no money, man. Oh, uh, Where do you need a ride to, man? Just gas, gas, money, something. Yeah, sure, I, I'd give you a ride. Here, hold on. We're just gonna... You can shut my door. Yeah, I can't. My arm is not working. Ah, damn. We'll just leave it open, man. Get a nice breeze in here. Yeah. I'll close it when I get Yeah, I appreciate it. There's my truck. What happened to your truck, man? Some no driving asshole really ended me. Oh, man. Fucking assholes, man. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Man, I'm homeless because that was the only thing I had. Oh shit, I'm receiving a phone call. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, have a good one. Here you go, man. H hello? Better fucking watch your back, Mickey. Oh, I'm watching you. Watch my back? Yeah, Wait, I'm watching you, you. You're watching me? What do you mean you're watching hey. me? Yeah, hey, you're driving around in a nice yellow K5. What? Very what? adorable. What? what? Yeah, what's going yeah. on, man? Oh, oh, you want you want to talk to your boy Dicky? Yeah, let uh, him let hey, him go, man. Hey, yeah, he's talking. He's a little taped up and kind of kind of kind of busy right now. Come on, let him go, man. Nah, I ain't gonna let him go until I got my motherfucking money. Fuck, man. Just just let him go. No, I ain't gonna let him go. First, I'm gonna beat the hell out of him. No, 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 don't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come here, Dickie. No, no, no. No. Fuck Mickey, you, call the cops, man. Call the cops. I'm gonna Mickey. fucking find you. Officer, I need an officer, man. Huh? I need to talk to a cop, man. Some guy just caught me. He's got my friend Dicky kidnapped, and he's beating him up. Oh, so I'll help you. I, I don't know where he's at, though. He's saying that he wants a million dollars. Oh, I got a million uh, dollars. What do you need a million dollars for, man? Some guy keeps calling my phone. He says that he's got my brother Dicky Icky Cheese, and that if we don't pay him a thousand dollars, he's gonna hey. beat him up. Oh, I know you guys. Well, here, we, we should probably get some more private where there's not a cop car right next to us. Yeah. Uh, All right, I'll follow you. All right. Hey, can I get a ride? I'll ride with you in case it happens. All right, man. The door is not shutting. No, we don't we don't need no doors. No, we lost my door. Do you have a gun or anything? I mean I'm a felon so I technically don't. That's why I'm kinda scared, man. I might have a knife in my bag. I got a knife on me, that's about it. Hey, we're gonna go in here. This is a buddy's house of mine. Yeah, this is a buddy's house of mine. We're good here. All right. What's your name? My name's uh, Mickey Sticky Flowers, man. Rico. What in the hell is going on? Oh shit! Is, is there a tornado coming, man? Oh shit! I'm getting scared, man. Oh, uh, it's a. It, there's a blackout going on. Oh damn! That's not good. So it, it should be. We should be good. All right. If I could hear. I know all these sirens, man, it's loud. Still waiting. Oh, shit. Crazy tonight. Okay. Thank you. Alright, come here. Well, what's happened? So this, this guy some guy's calling me, man. He called me like four times already and he's he's saying that he's got my brother Dickie Dicky Cheese and that we owe him a thousand dollars and he's beating him up, he, he's got him tied up and I asked him where he's at and he said, Don't worry about it. He said, I want my thousand dollars or a million dollars or he said, I'm gonna fucking kill him. You got like two days or something like that. This is a million or a thousand? He said a million, I think. Do you know how many there are? Uh, I mean, I think it's just him, but I'm not sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you some. Oh, we could just, I could just give you some prop money, and then we could go in. I could have a sniper on the hood or something. 
Yeah, I mean, th that might work. Uh, okay, you, you gonna be here? I need to go change clothes and stuff. Yeah, sure, I'll be here, man. Alright, what's your number? Uh, my number? One second. Um, and, uh, okay, my server number is going to be uh, 57. M. Flowers. No. You're, you're like your phone number. Oh, my phone number. Oh, yeah. I, I can give you that. One second. All right. My phone number is going to be uh, 346 808 uh, 5807. Yep. My phone's ringing. Oh. Mickey? Yep, Mickey, man. I don't know who the hell you are, but right here. You gonna be here? Yeah, I'll wait right here for you, man. Yeah, yeah I'll, wait, I'll wait right here for you, man. I'll be like 10 minutes. Yep, go ahead. So we're going in this with bike morning. I, I, yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna get. I guess he's gonna. Oh shit! I'm getting a call again. Oh shit! It's the motherfucker again. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? It's a very nice Mustang that was right behind you. Uh, yeah, that was a nice Mustang. But where, where are you at, man? I'm watching you, motherfucker. You're Give watching me. My me? Money. Yeah. Well, I... Wait, well, I'll do my head. He just said that he saw the Mustang behind us and he's watching us. He sees us. Uh, I'm kind of. I saw a red Tahoe pulling that garage right there, but I don't know. I'm ki I'm kind of scared, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, that, that that could be him. I mean, I don't know who this guy is. I mean, I technically do. I met him back in L.A. years oh, ago. Oh, I was in my head again because so many Yeah, but no. Uh, yeah, I I met this guy back in L.A. years ago, but I don't know where he is, what he's driving, what he looks like. It's been years. Well, you won't be like. So what are we gonna do? So I guess the guy is gonna get a sniper ready and whatnot. I'm gonna go in with the fake money, give it to the guy, uh, and then I'm he's gonna, he's gonna kill him. No, I think I should do this by. My, I mean, you should be somewhere nearby, just yeah, in case something I'll, happens. But I'll shoot that beacon in your hand and I'll be like in a bush or something. But but if I show up with another person in my car, the guy might get suspicious. Well, tell him I'm your son. I'm setting man. something. Well, I'm gonna go hide in a bush or something. Alright. Yeah, Alright. Well, I'm gonna wait for the guy to come back, so. So I wanna let you know, me hey, and two other money. sibs are setting something up. We're gonna give you the money. Hey, what's going on, man? Um, look where we saw that red car. Yeah, what about it? Uh, just move. Um, there's a dude with a gun. I reckon in the movie. Huh? Yes, there's a dude with a gun over there. Where? So, I'm what? setting something up with two sibs. I'm playing with an admin. And we got some RP that we're going to set up. I'm going to give you your money. Mickey, you stay in cover. I don't want you to do it. Jump that white fence. 
jump this white fence over here? I can't. Yeah, I can't see him. I can't see him either. But he called me when you walk when you left, and he said that he saw us. He saw the Mustang, and he said he was watching us. I see him. All right, we're all gonna jump that white fence. Mickey, you go first because you're like. All right. All right. One, two, three, go. I'm, I'm just gonna stay right here. If someone like comes back there, call me. Okay. Yep. Mickey, come on. Mickey! Come on. We're all getting in. Mickey, get in. Let's get out of here. Did you, did you get him? No, we didn't. The rocks are the front. I don't care my car. What does it mean it's coming? I got an amber alert on my... That is number. Send, right. Send, tell, tell me. Wait a second, we're gonna go Alright, who's the number? Mickey. Wait, who's that behind us? Dude, if I hit one more thing. Oh, that's the homie. What? What? Alright. Stop. Get our hands turn off. Mickey, you get on the door. I dug down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. No! Okay. Hey. Oh, that's with you, baby. What do you want? I got the money, man. Where you at? Don't worry about where I'm at. You said if I give you the money, you said you wanted the money, man. I got it for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You know the lost place? 
I got another car. Yeah, I know that place. In Mirror Park? Yeah, the one by the casino, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that place. Yeah, you better be there by yourself. Alright, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Alright. Uh, get my foot. So, I, I basically just got the phone with him. He told me he's going to go to the, the lost place that's uh, right by the casino. But he said that I got to show up alone or it's going to be bad. I'll get on top of the casino. Then. Yeah, you, you... I'll, I'll go hide in the booth without it. Yeah? Okay, well then I'm going right, to... So, call me when you're there. Yeah, I'm going to borrow this car. I'm gonna go pay him. I'm gonna go. I need to get Dickie back, man. Can't do this to my friend, man. Can't do this to him, man. Fuck. Gotta go save my fucking brother, man. Alright, it's up here. Yeah, what do you want? I'm here. Where you at, man? I'll be there. Just gotta wait for this guy to show up, I guess.
I, I just walked into a trap because that struts over there. He's playing with struts. Motherfucker. What's going on? We're here on behalf of Mr. Van Dam. Oh yeah? Yeah, we got you got the money. It's in the back of the trunk, man. Oh yeah? It's all of it. It's all right there. Yeah, did you come along? There's no one else here, man. Mm hmm You wanna check the the trunk, buddy? All right, man. It's all there, man. Yes, man, it's one mil. Count that, buddy. I'm gonna test this shit. If it's fake, I swear to God, we have problems. Mr. Van Dam is pleased by your curiosity and courtesy, but he also said that you owe him a five hundred thousand dollar deposit. You will get Mickey until that is done, or you will get Dicky when that is set and final. Who's this? Don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But, but I, Mr. Van, but Mr. Van Dam says that you need to pay him five hundred thousand dollars more, and if he does not have that tomorrow by noon, Dicky dies. Ah, oh, damn, man! Come on, no. Yeah, they, they, I, well, gave, I gave them the money, and now they're telling me I owe them like a five hundred thousand dollar deposit now, and I got until oh tomorrow. My God. And they left, and it wasn't, oh, and it, five. and it wasn't even the guy. It was like their henchman. Oh, what about that truck? Do we need to kill the dude in the truck? I don't know who that guy in the truck is, to be honest with you. All right, well, we're going to kill him. Yep, go ahead. Hello there. <laughs> what's, what's going on, man? What's going on? I see a time stop. Hey, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Said what? He hello? Mr. Mickey. Who are you on the phone with? Uh, what's going on, man? Mr. Flowers, I am pleased that you were at least able to get me my mill, but I am unsatisfied because you still owe me 500000 But you, But you only told me a mill. Yeah, but that is also the uh, courtesy fee of all the shit that you put me through. Mm, you, Matty, you, sh don't you should have told me. Partner, partner, I don't think we well, should be I just here. wanted to test you and see if it was real. Hey, buddy, do you want to buy some stuff? I mean, they're going to count your money and see hold, if it's real. Hold on, legit. there's some guys talking to me. I'm on the phone with someone right now. Could you guys hold on? Okay. All right, yeah. I could continue. Yeah, there's yeah. some ignorant people over here. No, you're good. Ignorant. You're, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, my men are going to count that money and see if it's real and see if it's yep. actually legit. If it's not, then, uh... Your, bu your buddy your buddy, your buddy, put it through a tester. It came back real, man. Okay, but by the time I get it, 
I swear, if it's not real, you'll be joining me, uh, Dickie very soon in the janitor's closet. Uh, no, man, come on. I don't, no, you can't do that, man. And I'm pretty sure you've already heard the conversations we've had earlier with Dickie. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want that to happen to you, do you? No, nah, man. Because there's a nice closet in Kyo somewhere for you. Uh, no, no, I'm good, man. Have my 500,000 by tomorrow noon, or else. I'll have it, man. Yeah, hello. Mickey, what are you doing? I don't know. The, who are they? I, I don't know who those who guys are, are. They're trying to sell me stuff. Get out of there. All right. Just run. <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? Hi, right, where are you at? I'm on top of, like, uh, the Lost Building. Which one? The one... Here. If that is, hold on, go to the entrance, go to the entrance. Alright. Uh, driver. Go turn around. Uh, we'll be there in one second. All right. Go to the entrance. If they ain't there. Get out of here. Right, what happened? So basically, I gave them the, the money, and then they said it was real. I said, yeah, it's real, and they really had no really, like, testers or things to figure out if it was fake. So they took the money, and then I got a call from Behesent Henchman. So the actual guy called me, and he said he was glad that I gave him a million dollars, but then he said I owe my $500,000K uh, bonus fee. Because if I want my brother back and I got into tomorrow to give it to him or he's dead. Okay, where's your he didn't tell you where he was? No. Okay. Uh -huh. He just told me to get it and call him when I got the money. Call him. Alright. Calling him. Hello. Hello. Marcus. You want? I got. I got your money, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't want Dickie to die, man. Just don't hurt him. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt him. 
I'm not even nowhere near him right now. I got your money, man. Let's just say... Dickie's taking a nice boat little trip right now. He's taking a trip? What do you mean he's taking a trip? He's, he's, he's nice and comfortable and secluded on a good boat right now. What, 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 I got your money. Let him free, man. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, I don't know where you're at, but uh, I'm pretty sure one of my henchmen do. Dude, I'm pretty sure, but I got the money, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Let me know the location, and I'll, I, I'll see about it. I can go back to the lost place if you want. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, no. The, uh... Let's see, uh... You want to meet at the racetrack? Not the racetrack. The, uh... The, uh... What you call it? Not the, uh... Cul-de-sac with all the new houses. The one that has all the empty houses. Oh, the cul-de-sac with the empty houses? Yep. All right. Yeah, I can meet you Buddy. there. Yes, sir. And I'm only sending one guy this time. I promise. Only one guy. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I got your money. All right, man. All right. Hope you do. Because if not, you know what's gonna happen. I know, man. So he said, meet him at the cul-de-sac. The not the one with the houses, but the one that doesn't have the houses built yet. And then he said he's gonna send only one guy this time. Okay. Well, we're going to. All right. We're not gonna we'll be like hitting the. That's fine. Yeah, since he's got one coming, I'm not sure where the other motherfucker's gonna be. Yeah, but I thought it was gonna be him that was gonna show up. He sent henchmen. He must be. He must be scared. I hate chicken shit. Hey, can you hear me, right? Yeah, I hear you, man. Drop the car, you're gonna take it, and then there. Alright, man. Can I take the plan, please? Alright, that was one of the attention. I'm here, man. Okay, are you in the black caddy? Yeah, I got the black Cadillac, man. Alright, my guy is on his way. Alrighty, man. Yeah, I, Hello? Did, I just want to give you an FYI. He knows I'm in a black caddy, so he's somewhere around here. He can see me, and he said uh, that he's got his buddy showing up. Uh, so I figured I'd let you guys know. Hold on, wait. He knows you're in the. He sees me over here, but he but he sees me over here, but he's but he's not coming. His buddy's coming, but he sees me. Uh, all right, thank you. Uh, oh, motherfucker.
Help. I think you nicked Nikki. me. Pick, oh. pick me up. I think you nicked me. I just like, a little nicked. I got I got held at gunpoint, man, and then these guys they just started shooting, and then I, I got scared because the, these guys came up and shot the guy that had me at gunpoint, but then some other guy came up and shot them, so I just played dead. Yeah, I'm just shaking. I was held at gunpoint, and then these guys came up, shot the guy that was holding me at gunpoint. The bullet went straight past my head. That scared the heck out of me, man. And then... Stand up for me. All right. Just uh, walk over here with me. I hope my friends ain't dead. I ain't got nothing on me, man. I got a call from this guy. He said that he knows where uh, my brother is. He said he knows where Dick... Uh, Alright, man. Yeah, I, I, got a, I got a call from this guy on my phone. And he said he, said he knew where uh, Dicky Icky Cheese was. That's my brother. He's been missing for a long time. But you, some of the officers out in the county said they killed him. But then, basically... He said that I need to bring him a million dollars or he's going to kill him. Welcome to life. So, oh, yeah, yeah. so, anyways. Yeah, so I, oh. came, I came here and I called him. I, I, had, I didn't have the million dollars, but I was pretending I did because I was just seeing if he had my brother. And then some guy came up right behind me, held me up at gunpoint, and then these two guys came up, shot him in the head, and then it scared me because the bullet went right past okay? me. Here's a here's a water bottle for you. Are you Ricky, Dicky, which one? Are I'm you? I'm Mickey, man. Mickey. Okay, got it. And then whoever is giving me these calls, apparently they have Dicky. They they got him tied up and everything. Okay, I'll be with you in one moment. Alrighty. Alright, one moment. What's going on? You okay? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just shaking, man. The bullet went straight past my head. I heard the like the little like the wind sound. It was scary. Okay, Mickey. I need to listen to you. I'm not, I need not to be scared, okay? I'm not, man. Yeah, I got the capture on here now. Okay. I'm pretty sure someone has a head on you. Yeah, I think someone does. They, he keeps calling my phone. They, he says he's got Dicky kidnapped, man. And then I you heard. Uh, yeah, I got his number. You want it? Let me know when you're ready, man. Ready. 302-297. Wait. 
Yeah, 302, okay. 297, and then 9663. 9663. Yeah, he, he, they claim they got Dickie, man. Okay, so I think what's going to happen here is we're going to take it on the station, that way you're safe, alright? Because we don't need this happening again. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm just scared, man. I know, and then we're gonna try our best to get Dickie back for you, alright? I appreciate that. Alright, we'll have to talk to these officers real quick. We'll close the door so we can get them. Oh, Yeah, the hinges are locked. Hehehe. <laughs> and going. Yeah? I promise you I'll get him. I appreciate it, man, yeah. My brother's gonna be fine. I, I was on the phone and he just pulled it behind me and then it put me at gunpoint, man. Alright, come over here with me. Me? Yeah. I think that's Atos. Alright, let's Here, I'm gonna go over here and talk to the other marshal real quick. Yeah, I was You're not in any trouble or anything. So, don't worry about... I appreciate that, man. I'm just scared. Oh, yeah. All good. Keep on getting calls saying that they got my brother and then I hear him in the background and they're hitting him and they're putting tape on his mouth and they're telling him to shut up. It's scary, man. What's up? What What was that announcement earlier? It says it's coming. Oh, I um, yeah. I don't know what it is. I gotta go get a flight ready. We're gonna put him in a protective uh, witness protection. Take him down. Hey, to the Longhorn. Station. Yeah, take him. Take him down to the st station. Start. Start questioning them. Nothing Mission bad, row, Mickey. Or... Nothing. Uh, the one literally right down the road by the casino. Start questioning okay. them. Uh, the other two marshals are, will be down there soon. I gotta go get a flight ready. We're Hey, what? I'm getting a, I'm getting a phone call. He hello? Hello there, cock boy. Hey, hey, wait, wait, give me Dickie back, man. Uh, no, 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 no. See, now, now you done killed one of my men. I, I didn't kill one of your men. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to hear no excuses. So you think this is game, Mickey? This is you not think, a game, you, man. You think I'm fucking playing? 
I, I, I had your money, man. Well, how about you check your Discord messages right now, since I can't send a text through the phone? I, I saw that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's on the phone. He, he's, he's threatening me, man. Yeah, I'm going to find you, though. If you don't give me another at least four mil. Four mil? I don't got four mil. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your little two friends. And I'm coming for anyone that's close to you. No, 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 man, no. You, you can't do this. I will, and if Dicky so happens to even think oh, about anything, he's gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Hey, by so forth. There's a uh, black two door parked up out here. And I'm scared, man. All right, get out. Let's go inside. Run. Come on, quick little jog. Look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm gonna take you in there. Is it long or not? Do we want to keep him? Oh, oh god damn. Oh, oh no, this ain't good. No, this is good. No, this is good. It's in like the custody room in the building cells. Okay, but someone right. called me down. Yeah, that's how I think. That's what I think I Come called, on. called you. Come on. Yeah, Alright. Come on. No. How are you in the holding? Holding says I'm not sure where those are. Over here. Mickey's out. Oh, Mickey's right That is not the way. Mickey, Mickey, no. God damn it. Just stay in here with me. Alright, man. Stay in here for a quick second. I'm gonna go grab my AR because I'm not. I'm not fucking. I just got a text message, man. They sent the picture. They got Ricky now. Right. Yeah, they got Ricky too now. He sent the picture of uh, him holding a gun up to his head. I got so Brown right going to guard the front door. I mean, hey, the power's going up. Is the generator working? I got... Is the generator working? No, we don't have I got Brown to go guard the front, no, we we go guard the front door, on. so... Yeah, I want every peel started. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I just heard a... Let me see what I can do for you, Mickey. Alright, man. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, they already there. I have the number. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but unfortunately, you're saying it's going to be a lot shorter since all you did was press pass. And also, uh, yeah, Billy. Do you know anyone who would be after you guys? Well, there was this guy like many, many, many years ago in LA. His name's Marcus uh, Van Dam. He, we used to sell. Yeah, we used to sell. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hello? Hey. Yeah, what, what, what's going on? You know the last thing that happened with the two dudes and one of them got killed? Yeah, what, what happened? Uh, I'm his brother. Uh, all right. I, I, right now, I, right now, I'm at the police station. They're, they're trying to get st stuff from me. We don't know where he's at. Apparently, they got people out for me, man. Oh no. Yeah, so I, I gotta give man. these. I gotta go talk to these officers. I, I'll call you back later. I will right, well, call me. Call us if you need anything. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that was my friend. He, okay, so quick question for you: the first spray, or hold on, hold on. The first price they gave you, 
was what one million yeah they told me one million which i had fake money that i gave them and, and then they just upped it to three million and then and then after that they said i owe my 500k bonus because yeah. all the bullshit i caused i said you didn't tell me that on the phone and then i so, went i went to the second location and then i had the fake money again that i was going to give them and then literally he came up behind me put a gun to my head and then those two other guys showed up they shot him and then those guys got shot by someone else and then that guy came up in a black car picked up his buddy threw him in a trunk and then took off so it was that 1.5 the update you on price now? No, right now he's just telling me that he knows that uh, I had two guys try to help me to not get killed by him. And then he says that he knows I'm talking to the pigs. He said he could see everything. And he said that I got one day and Dickie's dead and he's going to film it and send it to me. Okay, and then elaborate, elaborate on the Marcus Van Damme. He, he's he's like a black character. Uh, he he did have dreads back in the day. I'm not sure what he has now. It's been like 10, 15 years since I've seen the guy. But he's like, he weighs like 140, 130 around there. He drives like BMWs, like nice expensive cars. And he norm, normally in LA, when I lived out there like 5, 10 years ago, he, he lived in a place called Cayo. And then I got a question for you. Is there any way that he perhaps was in like a UPS type uniform type deal. He he might have been. Okay, come over here with me. Hey, you say yes. Are you guys good with him? Yeah, I'll I just mean, say yeah, it right here go. since we're all here. Um, as soon as I hopped on duty, I rolled past. Let me give you a poster. <laughs> Five eight seven, that building complex beside the um, the casino. Um, two vehicles, three people, all dressed up in a full. I, I don't even know. It looked like a UPS type uniform deal. Um, all three. One was a black Tacoma, a um, little bit lowered. Um, one of them did have dreads. Um, the other one was a whiskey mic. I'm knowing about. The I'm not sure if that was them, to be honest with you. Okay, well, is this guy good to go so we can get him into custody? Yeah, we, yeah, we no should. We should be good. Okay, take him out. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's go. It's not run. It's a slow one. Wait, what? I was gonna say, we'll let one of us in front of us in back that way in case. And Alrighty. I know, man. I don't know, I feel like the Oogie Boogie Man's about to pop out. It's the guy that's after me. He's gonna pop out. Oh, don't worry about it. We're here to protect you. We got you. I appreciate it, man. The hell yet? Uh, we're going to LSI, I think. What's going on, man? Wait, I have information. Uh, you keep thinking, what's up? Alright, well, I'm, uh, I'm uh, up in this uh, black SUV over here. I'm gonna follow you down. No. Haha, <laughs> this is legit. <laughs> I've been fucking... So who's trying to kill you? His name's uh, Marcus Van Dam. I met him like 15, 20 years ago back in L.A. Me and Dickie used to sell drugs for him. Apparently, we quit selling for him and he said we owe him money and then now he wants to kill Dickie because we quit selling and he quit making the money. Do you know where Dickie is? No, he won't tell me. The last I, the last he told me is Dickie was on a boat and he's going for a nice trip and he, he, that's that's all I need to know, he told me. Okay, so do you, does Dicky have a phone or anything of the sort? I mean, the phone he has, the guy has, and I gave the, I gave you his number. It's Dicky's phone, but the guy's got it now. Okay, but what like what I mean is, if 
Dicky has a phone, we can search uh, like cell towers for pings off of his cell phone. Yeah, yeah. Ba ba basically, the, the Dicky's phone, the, the guy took it, and he, he's using that to call me. That's how he's got my number. Okay. I'm going to give Greasy a call, huh? Alrighty. So you're saying like he's already got Dicky? Yep, he's got Dicky, and then when I was in the police station with you guys giving some information now, he sent me a text message on my phone, and he's got a picture of Ricky and got him held up at gunpoint. Hey, Greasy, uh, we're heading down to the airfield right now. You got the plane set up? <laughs> this is we're legit. At, uh, 542. We're almost there. Just know, guys. All right. <laughs> this recording, yeah, everyone, it's gold. This is the RPM I'm looking for. Let's give the cops shit to do. Did you give the uh, photo to the officers you were talking to? I, I mean, they didn't ask for it, but it's on my phone. Who's the officer following us, huh? Uh, it's gonna be Captain Williams. Okay, he can take it. Before we get off, uh, take him out to the carrier. You want me to tell him to dip? No, he will take over, he'll take the photo. Or whatever. Oh, gotcha, the gotcha. Phone before we take him out to the carrier. Why is he blipping his fucking siren? Out? I'm not sure. Honestly. I'm not stopping until I get there. Yo, go post that picture that you sent me somewhere in the Discord. They want a picture, but I don't have it physically. So send one so that they have proof. They want to continue this RP and make it better. Alright, Mickey, go ahead, hop up. Yo, Captain. I'll go put this up. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Uh, He's got a photo of the other person that's supposedly been captured. Mm -hmm. um, can you grab that information, please, um, so we can hopefully use that to oh, investigate further on where this guy's actually at and holding the other guy captive? Hello? Where are they taking you? They're, they're taking me on a plane, man. To where? Don't, I don't, don't know. Give information, boss. It, 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 no, it's my friend that got shot. So I, wouldn't, gonna I wouldn't trust anybody right now, man. I, 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 I gotta go, they said. Uh, no, just find them for me. Hang up the phone call. Hang up the phone call. Matter of fact, uh, uh, Captain... ...to Captain Williams, so that it was tracking us on our floor. A black four-door Hellcat. Here you go, man. Right there, right there, right there. Mickey? Yeah. Get on that fucking plane. <laughs> Alright, we're good, Greasy. Yeah, they told me they want a picture, but I physically don't have one on my phone. I told them you sent it to me on Discord. So that Greasy. guy was trying to kill you, huh, Mickey? Yeah, he was trying to kill me, man. Any other reason why somebody might want you this dead for, for whatever reason? All I, all I know is like... 15, 20 years ago, we lived in L.A., and then we were selling him drugs, and then we quit selling drugs, and we went to better our life, so he called me, and he said that since I'm not making him any money anymore, we owe him a million dollars, which I gave him a fake million dollars, but then he told me I owed him 500 k for, like, a bonus or whatever, sign on to get Dickie back and whatnot, but he said since we're not selling for him anymore, we're trying to better our lives, that he wants us dead. Okay. And I'm just trying to better my life so I don't go to jail, man. Well, that's kind of what we're doing right now, is we're going to help better you by getting you away from these individuals. And so basically what's going to happen is we're taking you out to the government, and they're going to place you in a separate country for 
an extended period of time while we try and figure out who's trying to kill you. I appreciate it, man. And by the way, uh, that that picture it wasn't sent on my phone, but it's on the, the Discord if you catch my drift. All right. You'll you'll see him holding the gun up to him, man. He's got my cousin and my brother now. I'm scared. The government's going to also reiterate this, but you need to understand anybody that you knew, uh, you no longer know. If that makes sense. You're not going to talk to anybody. You're not going to contact anybody from your past. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, don't get a phone. We're not going to provide you with one. If you need to speak to anybody, you're going to have to go to the embassy in order to talk with federal agents in order to get back here or request an update on where we're at with these people. Yeah, okay. What'd you say his name was? Marcus Van Dam. Marcus Van Dam. Yep. In state, I presume? I mean, he the la the last place that I saw him was me and Dickie. It was in L.A., so I'm not sure if he moved out here or if he's just out here to kill me. Is he a registered uh, civilian within the state of Wisconsin? I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that one. He might be, he might not be. Because we, we left LA and took all that nonsense so I wouldn't go back to jail and we got rid of it and whatnot. And then all of a sudden I get a call and he says that he's got Dicky and he says that he knows where we moved and he said, I'm in Wisconsin. And that's when he wanted the money and all this nonsense happened. Yeah, I'm not getting a, a run on his name. Yeah, then he must be visiting from L.A. just to come kill us. I mean, I'm not saying that's smart of him, but, I mean, technically that is kind of smart. Yeah, except for I'm a federal agent, and I can find anybody. Oh, yeah, you'll find him. All right, as soon as this plane stops, you're going to go inside that brig over there. All right. That's where they'll take you. I'll get you registered. Alrighty. Alright, you're gonna go in that door right there. I'm gonna sign you up and hand this paperwork over. Yeah, right, I mean. Holy shit, this face is fucking nice. Did they want me to go up or down? Many unbearable hours later. Greasy's gonna try and call you, I think. Yeah, they want me to find you and let them know that you're technically an illegal immigrant right now because they took away your citizenship so they could put you in protective custody. That's fine. Did you see that? But, but they... They... They uh, G uh, they want me to figure out where you're at. That way, either way, you're probably gonna go to jail. But they want to make sure that you're legal. <laughs> well, I don't know that, so I was told it was illegal. I broke my phone. Mm -hmm. That's what Paco and them told me to do. They because when I when I RP that I called Paco, literally Paco was like, "What? You left?" He was like, "That's illegal."
Oh, damn. So he is literally a ghost. Who's a ghost? You. <laughs> Go upstairs and see if Mickey's up here. place is a fucking mess. Damn. What the fuck happened in here? <laughs> oh my god, the room's all fucking tore up. <laughs> Aw oh, man, where'd my porn magazines go? Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna take a nap. Let me call somebody. Let's see if I can get a hold of Mickey. worth a shot. Am I freaking gonna answer? I guess he's not gonna fucking answer. Damn it. No, what they were saying, Paco says he is sorry to pick up Mickey and hide. What they were saying is they they want you to either turn yourself in or at least have me find you for uh, so you can renew your citizenship. For one, obviously, yes, you are going to go to jail, but <laughs> you need to. Uh, uh, so. Technically, no one will legally serve you alcohol. No one will buy and be able to buy anything because technically you have nothing. You don't have an ID. Damn. You don't have. A, you don't have credit cards. You don't have no money because all that stuff was supposed to have been taken away from you. Supposed to, but technically in the video it wasn't. Yeah. The only, the only, the only thing they took away from me that I have on video was my phone mm -hmm. because uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was a uh, fucking Atos. He called me again. And he was asking where I'm at, and the cops like, no, 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 hang up, hang, 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 hang up the phone. I hung it up. They're like, all right, give us the phone now. Give it. You can't have it. New identity. And they told me they said if I want to come back, that's on me. They literally told me if I want to come back, that's on me. But if I come back and die, at least they tried protecting me. And they basically I, said the same shit. Uh, yeah, they said the same shit. But if you like try and get like health care, dental care, stuff like that, oh, well, you, te you technically are not a citizen. Well, Mickey doesn't get that shit anyway. He can't afford it. Right, right. I mean, we get it for free mm -hmm. in the prison. But they even said that they wouldn't even give it to you, considering that you're you're not a citizen. But they want to renew your citizenship. That's okay, Paco and Tuco. They know some guys that do the shit illegally. So we're good.
Uh -huh. By the way, I need Greasy's number. I got his number now since he called me. What is it, by the way? I don't know right now. I'm doing some stuff where I can't pull up my phone. Oh, I got you. I got you. I'm probably not even going to do that video because that was kind of even nothing. Which one? The one where I was playing as Gene Davis and uh, Ricky was playing as somebody else, and he came by and swiped your car, and you tried to role play it. Oh well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm uploading that one either. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, gonna, uh, I'll, I'll delete it. There's a few videos I did when you weren't on with Ricky and Atos and stuff, and then after doing them, I went back and started watching them. And I'm like, I'm, I don't think I'm going to upload these. Oh, okay. Paco hangs up on Dicky, breaks his phone. Mickey is one and tells Mickey they moved HQ so no pigs can fight on us, not even Dicky. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Well, I I'm not trying to get caught. Uh -huh. I'm going to get away. I mean, once I get away, because I'm, I'm, I'm crawling, so it's going to take a minute. But once I find a vehicle, I'm going to try to make my way without getting caught by any cops and go to a nice little hideout, and that's where I'm going to end it. Then eventually in the future, what we should do is want to end it, uh, if I do get away, I mean, who knows, I could steal a car, get caught by the plate reader by a cop, they pull me over, find out I'm Mickey, but if I get away, we should RP that in the next episode, that when I get away, I'm, I'm out hiding for like a couple months, cops haven't found me, but then all of a sudden, like uh, one of the Epsilon program members finds me and they kidnap me. Yes, there we go, there we go. So now, now I'm going to be kidnapped. Yes, technically I came back, but then I got kidnapped. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ooh, it speak, speaking of, I will go look for that Epsilon character now. Yeah, and then what, uh, what, what you could do is you could RP that there are some unlegit local like, witness protection like person that worked there, and that when Mickey was there and things got good, he got the word to kidnap him left but the records doesn't come back in the books of who that guy really is because I, I want to RP that guy kidnapped now I'll say no nah, because you got kidnapped now I got kidnapped and now we're going to mm -hmm. do the Epsilon story program so, yep. that, so that way when they do eventually find me 
yeah, so I'm gonna be brainwashed, but then when they unbrainwash me, I'll tell them, man, I just remember getting, like, kidnapped. I was, I was, I was sitting, like, in the quarters with all the planes and whatnot, eating my dinner, and then fucking, I don't know, some guy came and said I had to follow him, come with them. The, the, the guys that are trying to kill me are on the fucking ship, so I followed him, he put a gun to the back of my head, and he told me to hop on this helicopter. And it wasn't, like, an army helicopter, it was all blacked out. Kiflon, that's what it is. Kiflon, 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 Kiflon. Kiflon? Let's see if I see anything that says Kiflon. Uh, a cult. Nope, that's the Mickey character. Jesus, that guy was fucking speeding. I'm surprised they even noticed that I left and stuff and cared about me because they because I was told by one cop literally he said to stay there but then another cop told me to stay there for like five minutes and then I'm good to go because he said that he he doesn't want to ruin my night. The thing is, you put you you, you put it in the OOC, so that's probably. I mean, um, I mean, true, but I mean, still, I was. Ooh, there we go. Either this guy, but don't we have Chris Formage? Yeah, the Chris Formich is a actual GTA character, so he should be in. Yeah, the but, but I mean, well, I have a regular Epsilon ped right now. Yeah, well, you could be just a regular Epsilon, but you still got to find Chris Formich. Yeah, I'm gonna save this one. Oops, did I mean to do that again? Save. Kiflon. Didn't you send me a link about all the fucking ped characters? I believe a while ago, but if I know if you just go to Google and then you type in like uh, GTA 5 5M spawn codes, there's like a website where it's got like all the characters, all the cars. It's even got that one car on there that uh, we try to spawn, that one rusty two-door muscle car. It's, it's literally the same name as the car, but you put a number two at the end. And this server, when you type the spawn code in for that car, it spawns in a DLC car that they put in here. Like, mm -hmm. like some legit real car. So I'm like, oh, come on, really? You replaced it with a fucking legit car? Like, and I even told one of the admins the other day. I was like, bro, it's like, why can't we spawn that car? And he even said the same thing that LA basically told us that a lot of people like to join the server and they just spawn hell of those cars and then if it just glitches out our server. GTA 5 spawn codes? Yeah, it's like GTA 5, 5M, and then spawn codes. Vehicle models, pet models. Yep. Yeah. You'll have every single pet that's in the game that you're allowed to spawn. No, not those two. But the one that kidnaps me could be like one of the Epsilon program members. <laughs> Which I have. Yeah, and then eventually when I'm at the camp and get a brainwash, it's by Chris Formich. Yep. Story. But what I'm probably going to do is I'll wait until you edit all your videos, and I'll have mine ready, but I'm going to have this as a special. Because I got like almost four hours of recording now so it's gonna be a where's a dicky special that's jesus but i still want to re i still i still want to wait until like when mickey's not arrested and whatnot and I mean, not not have a worn out first wrestling shit, and then see Greasy again, and the other few officers said that said they kill you, but you didn't fucking kill him. You guys fucking lied, because they said they killed you. That's what they um, kept on telling me. They said, yeah, we we murdered him. We, we we shot him point blank period. That's what they kept on telling me every time. Like when I said, where's Dicky, man? 
IG Chris Blanc. Now, see, what would be funny is when they do, like, this warning system, they could change it and do different warning systems instead of doing, like, power outages and shit, but it does, like, the sirens like it's doing, but then at the top, one at suspect, Mickey Sticky Flowers. Now, that would be pretty cool. Safe pad. Chris. Form mage. There we go. Please say there's cars over here. Alright. So I got those saved for next run. I'll snip it all this out. Um, back to Dicky. MP save. Dicky. Oh yeah, by the way, out of RP, if you do spawn your van back, it is 100% cleaned out, because in the video, I cleaned it out, because they made me... Yeah, 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 I remember. But towards the um, end but towards the end of the video, they were searching... Uh, I don't know where my van is, I don't know where anything is at the moment. Yeah, but if you find it, but when you do, everything was thrown out, but towards the end, they searched it again, and they asked what they found, and I put, I cleaned the van 100% clean, even through the title and paperwork out. Jesus. Hey, they, they, they told me to clean it, so I cleaned it. Great. Fuck, there's no cars here. Are you serious? Fuck. I don't know what cars? I'm yeah, I, I, I'm i trying to escape, bro. Oh, aren't you still at Coachella? No. I'm uh, oh. From Coachella, I've been basically crawling. Because I don't want to walk, and I don't want them to see me. So if I'm on the ground... At least it's harder for them to see me. And I know most of the cops, from what they've been telling me, a lot of them in the server have MVE. So a lot of them do have darker nights. And mm -hmm. since it's darker nights, and especially with power outages, it's hard for them to see me. Man, that man, where would Mickey be at, man? Fuck, I made it across the highway. I'm going with the plan that Paco gave me, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. He said I just gotta follow this all the way to where he needs to pick me up at. And to you two. Don't forget to try that other bar, the, the Rasta bar. I could be there. Yeah, but you said highway. Yeah, but you wouldn't know that. Yeah. It's also true. You wouldn't know anywhere where I'm at. This yeah. is all out of character. So you technically don't even know where I'm at. You're just looking at places where you think I'd be. And that the hot dog stand. And that bar closed down, so he's not there. <laughs> he's definitely not in jail, cause. Uh. Oh yeah, and another thing is, if you go to the bar where I live, out of character, I haven't did the video yet. But in the last video I did, towards the end, I tied Becky up and put tape on her mouth, and I threw her in the back of the dumpster. So that's gonna be like a part two that I do in the future where I RP that she like she was in the dumpster or maybe she got found or something. But as of right now, I don't know if that's gonna work because of all the shit that's going on. But yeah, technically I tied her up, so she's probably still back there. She might be dead.
Burbage man probably found her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or he should or he should go back to my house like you're looking for me and then do like a 911 call. But like, I smell something funny coming out of that guard skin, man, and they search it and then it comes back to Becky at a bartender. <laughs> now, is there CCTV back there? I don't know if there's or not, to be honest with you. Kind of, a, right. it's, it's kind of All a right. rundown bar like the Yellow Jack, so there might, there might, I don't know. Well, well Yellow Jack's a run rundown bar. This one's a little bit better. A little bit, not by much. This guy's so, got his fucking steadies on right now. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, I wonder if he's running the plate. Yeah. Don't oh. pull out. Well, I mean, he can pull out. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. He probably is going to pull you over because going back is Mickey Flowers. Yeah. Just let him pull you over. Like, I'm looking for my brother, man. Oh, that's pretty cool. I just noticed that. The MVE in the sky, the fucking, uh, uh, the green lighting or the white lighting, whatever color you chose, that goes out, too. Mm-hmm. I just noticed that. Let's check this Rasta bar, man. Uh, is this place even still open? Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's open. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it's dark in here. Mickey! And hey, what's the location of that? Uh, the postcode? 251. Two, five, one. Mickey! Oh, bro, I can't even see the fuck. Oh, there it is. If you have to go to go to F1 and pull out a flashlight. Yeah, I might have to because I cannot that, see. That's there. what I had to do when I was at the air care when they had me a witness for that. I couldn't see shit. Uh, melee flashlight. <laughs> Give me a little clue. Mickey. Come on, man. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, is that Mickey's hat? Oh, Mickey's hat. Oh, shit. Mickey? Hey, man. You down here? Mickey? You should ask the local bartender when it's the last time she saw me. I'll put something in for them. So technically, you wouldn't know that I'm trying to run away, and Paco and Tuco and them are trying to save me. So this is what she tells you. Let's see if you are, let's go. I had no idea. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? What do you mean? E. And. Nobody. Nobody? What do you mean, nobody?
Yeah, they still have your number. Mickey, 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 M I C K E Y M O U S E. No, nothing. Come on, Mickey, you always sing it back to me, man. <laughs> now, cops, cops showed up at the Rasta bar, and they're like, "Hey, Dickie, what's going on?" I was like, "Uh." What y'all doing here? We're like, we're just wondering if you seen Mickey. They probably saw like, that OLC. Yep. And they were like, and, she, and he was like, what did the bartender say? I was like, some guys in blue took him. And they're like, guys in blue. I was like, yeah. I was like, and the bartender said they seemed very professional and polite. And he was like, no, that's scary. He was like, were they white dude, black dude? I was like, white guy. He was like, that's even scarier. Uh -huh. He was like, and he was like, ah, oh, what did Mickey get himself into? I was like, I don't know, man. You should go to other places, and I'm gonna do OOCs and put like pieces of clothing that you find of mine. <laughs> Where should I go next? You gotta think of places that mean you've been before in past videos. Go to. Oh, did they got the diner in this one, or is that LA? Hmm. Uh, might be LA. No, they might have it. But I'm gonna go to Stab City. Yeah. Man, fuck. I felt scared hijacking this car, but Tugo told me the to plans. He said there's gonna be a car that shows up at this time. Man, hopefully, I don't get caught, man. And I'm driving. Oh, shit, there's a police station up here. Fuck. I forgot about this place. Hopefully there's no cops in here, man. Fuck. I should've just stayed. Why did I leave, man? It just got boring. Attempt to contact Paco. Uh-oh. Williams. Well, tech, tech, uh... Hold on. Alien, alien worship place. Oh what? What? He said we got we got a nine one one call relating about you. Ah, oh, yep, I did it. 
Oh. The car, is, the car is still I RP that those uh, locals didn't have cell phones, so I had they had to walk and they found a phone and they called the cops and said a hippie stole their car. He he's like, follow me, follow me. He was like, I'll give you an escort. Oh shit! Fuck. What? what? I did the nine one one call in game. They got my location. I'm out of here. Yup, yup, yup. Better run. Yup, I'm in my car. I'm out of here. Oh wait, where are we going? It are you in harmony? Yep. You're in harmony, or, or are you in grapeseed or towards Polito? Uh, I, I was like towards where that lighthouse is at. Oh, cause we were heading to harmony, opposite way. I don't know. I took off, and I and I wrecked the car. So now the car's gone, and I'm on foot. Uh oh. Yeah. Walks into Mickey's house, flips, flips pool table, throws fridge and peas on the floor. Wow. <laughs> that guy was pissed. He, he was like, no, bro, that was my house. He was so pissed. I mean, I've been RPing that it's been my house for the past, like, month mm -hmm. or two. If you're by one of the cops, you should be like, why is that guy claiming it's his house? It's Mickey's house. Like, me and him got the lease papers together. I forgot, when you make a 911 call in game, they get the ping, pinned location. Yo. Saved it. <laughs> Gallery. Ah, uh, yup, yup. I hear the sirens. Uh oh. I don't think they're gonna be able to find me because I found a nice little spot to hide, so. And I'm pretty far away from where I was. We're at the light. I'm at the lighthouse now. No, oh, I'm far down from the lighthouse. I kept on taking the dirt trail. I'm, I'm gone, bro. Identify his color to find make a model. Oh. Slash. Um. O C. I don't know. Ooh. Door, door. Are you still in a car? No. No. It's a vanilla car, so I don't know the actual name of it. Four-door gray SUV looking. Yeah, it's a vanilla car from GTA, so I don't know exactly what it's called. Alright, I guess we're heading back this way. He turned around, so That's I fine. don't know if, if you're all the way up that way. I'm, I'm going towards Polito. I'm walking towards that way. Just know I'm going north. Oh, okay. Technically. He keeps getting called, and he was like, "He was like, I need to find Mickey, like right now." You should tell him that you're probably never gonna find him. He likes to hide, unless he was kidnapped. And Dickie's in the passenger seat now. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell him it feels good to be in the passenger seat, no cuffs.
<laughs> Bro, he's losing it right now. I bet. I, I was like, yeah, man, it feels good to be in the passenger seat. Deputy Dicky reporting for duty. Are you guys heading back to the city? Uh, no, unless you want to make another 911 call. No, because I make another 911 call, it's going to pin, pin my location. Fuck that. They're done getting 911 calls now. We're doing like 120 right now. I don't know where, though. Are you far away from where he was at? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going... I think we're going back to Sandy. Yeah, you might be. You should pull out your phone and be like, I got an anonymous tip that someone saw a hippie walking. And just give a random location. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Cheeseburger. <laughs> You should go at the diner if it's there and be like, you just be sitting there and be like, if anybody asks, like, what, man, I just wanted a fucking cheeseburger. Well, what I was thinking that I was going to do is, if you guys don't find me, you tell them that you got to go or whatever. Uh, what? Wait, what? We should do some snow today. Thoughts? T chef, OC. No. We're near Polito. Oh, I'm far away from Polito still. But uh -oh. no, what I was saying, because I'm walking my, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to make my way towards Polito. But when I get to Polito, if you guys haven't found me and I haven't got caught. Then I was gonna say you tell him that you gotta go or whatever. Swap as one of the Keflon characters, and then you find me, and then you kidnap me, and that's how we end it. I get kidnapped. But yeah. I thought I made it clear and free, but then I get kidnapped at the end. Yeah, we're we're in Polito now. We just passed up the Hobo Village. Uh, I'm close to the diner, I can tell you that. Are you, at, like, on the highway? Eh, no, I'm on the, I'm on the other side of the mountain. It's basically, oh. basically climbing a rock, swimming. What? Uh, I lost my car. Oh my, Jesus Christ, that was not legit. So there's been a few times I had to jump on the water and swim, but that's fine. I've done this before, back in L.A. He's adamant of finding you. Good luck. As I say, you should tell him, like, good luck finding Mickey, man. He's usually yeah, hard to find. I, I already told him that, and he was like, I want to find him. He was telling me, he was like, we almost gave up on trying to find Marcus. Oh, for real? Yeah, if... If I didn't answer that last time, he, he said we were going to give up on trying to find you. And I was like, oh, okay. They mean they were looking for you for a good minute. Yeah. That's why when you swap characters to Dickie, I was like, I was like ooh, you're going to make some officers upset. And you're like, why? I'm like, because they really want to catch you, man. Mickey! Mickey! Come on, Mickey, we're at the Hobo Village. I know you're here. Mickey! <laughs> what? He's 
he's go he he's scroll he's strolling through the highway and then he was like turns on micro uh, microphone on police cruiser, starts shouting free drugs free <laughs> drugs free weed I have free weed methamphetamines I'm not that dumb <laughs> even if I was nearby I'm not that dumb even if I wasn't wanted. No one gives their shit away for free. Uh, yeah, I finally made it to the spot. Two come apart, told me to go to. I already got everything set up here for me. Oh shit. Checks with dispatch about anyone walking or falling on a hill. <laughs> I mean, dispatch what I know about that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, fuck that. They have no idea. Yeah, fuck that. Just because I fall down a mountain, they're not going to know I fell. I'm not going to call. I don't got a phone no more. Or are you guys heading back towards Sandy? No, Plato. We're at Hobo Village. Okay. You're not here, are you? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were heading this way for a minute. I mean, I'm heading towards Polito still. Gotcha. Oh, yo, can we go in that trailer? Mickey, I got some weed. <laughs> oh, Mickey, you so fine, you so fine, you blow my mind. Oh, Mickey. You jackass, where the fuck are you, man? searching the dumpster. You're not in a dumpster, are you? Nope. Oh, okay. I'm not on land. Opens dumpster. Mickey! <laughs> We're searching, searching. All right, bet.
Ah uh, shit, what's up Duco? What's up Baco? Yeah, I finally fucking made it. Let's go inside. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm gonna walk towards the front where you get on. The front or the back? Where you where you hop onto the boat. So the back? Yeah. Because I'm I think that's the only place you can get on the boat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm to where the jacuzzi should be filled with up of water, but it's not. I'm just the LA one, the head water. Ah, hello, young brother. Ah, hello, yeah, you're one of the servants on this place? Ah, yes, just for today only. Ah, oh, oh, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, the two compacos with me. Oh, okay. I know nothing of those two. Oh, you don't? Yeah, well, they, they, they he bought me the ticket so we can go to LA, man. Oh, I know nothing of that either. I'm only here because of Chris Formich. Uh, Chris Formich, who's that? Chris Formich is everyone. Everyone? Who's everyone? Chris Formich. Chris Formich? I don't even know who that guy is. Chris Formich is everyone. Yeah, well, I don't even he know him. Do you believe in God, sir? I mean, no, I don't, I don't believe in that bullcrap. No? Nah, when you die, you're just dead, man. But there is also a much greater peace to believe in. Nah, I don't you gotta think... gotta find your inner peace. Yeah, my, my, my inner peace is me smoking a fucking bong and getting high, man. I'm sorry for such a negativity, young Mickey. Nah, that, that's positivity, man. No, oh, I don't think it is very what positive. What the hell? Oh. It's very positive is if you look up at the moon and it's shining bright and that's positivity just like Chris Formich I mean I guess but I mean not technically no because the, the moon just comes up every night it's it's the way that the, the earth works have you ever went to science class man? I have not but I went to Chris Formich class the Epsilon program the Epsilon program? What the hell is that shit? Peace. Inner peace with one another. Inner peace? Inner peace, tranquility, and free of mind. Shit, I want inner peace, tranquility, and free of mind as smoking a blunt. Such negativity. No, that's not negative. That's positivity, man. The positive outcome of one's life can just be releasing the stress and exhaling the negativity. Yeah, I I inhaled the, the, the green and then I exhaled the bullshit. And I feel good afterwards. <laughs> Please, young brother, just <laughs> breathe in and breathe out of your inner peace. I mean, if you got a joint or something, I will, but I'm not just going to do that to do that. It's fucking dumb. Such anger comes from one man. Why? No, I'm not angry. I'm pretty happy, man. Going to L.A. Seems so depressed and angry. Yeah, far to depressed. Far from angry. Sen I'm sensing a loved one is near you. Nah, I don't got no loved ones near me. Hmm. A partner is in your companionship a partner and a can I don't got a I don't got a partner anyway hmm. I'm sensing I'm sensing someone like how you say partner in crime in your relationship partner in crime I mean uh, I wouldn't say I have a partner in crime. I mean, you could say I got one, but then again, you could say I don't got one because he's gone. You have a you have a brother. Well, I had a brother. He liked Wisconsin, and he liked cheese. Mm, nope, doesn't ring a bell. 
Are you sure, Mr. Flowers? No, my name's not my name's not Flowers. You're I, probably wondering how the fuck does he even know my name? <laughs> I'm an Im I'm an immigrant, man. We are all immigrants of the world, but we all report to Chris Formich. That's fine, but you called me Flowers. I don't know who that guy is. I'm an immigrant. I don't got no name, technically. Well, besides the flowers on your t-shirt, I'm guessing that would be the flower. Uh, flowers would be your name on the door. Where I delivered your bathrobes and all of that for your jacuzzi session. Later. Oh, yeah, that's just an alias name we put down. Ah. That, that way the pigs can't find out who I really am. As I told you, I'm an illegal immigrant. I get caught, I'm going to jail. Such anger. Chris Formich can help with that. Nah, nah, he can't help with that. Here's a pamphlet, my young brother. This is the life, tranquility, inner peace, and open mind of the Epsilon program. Take a little bit of time to read it over. Chris Formich will be a hold of you soon. You will have one week to give a response. Otherwise, Chris Formich will see you in person. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I'm picking you up. Come on. Let's go. Hey, let, let go of me, young sir. Come on. Unhand me. And I don't know who the fuck that guy was, but I'm fucking going to bed and calling it a night, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. Got away from the fucking cops. The Where Is Dicky special, the final episode. You saw a few teases here and there of me trying to find him. I couldn't find him, but apparently he may have been found or may have been found. I have no idea. I was just told by the people in the witness protection program that he may have may not been found they have no idea but they think the Marcus guy was found I still have no idea on that but I'm heading back to LA because I, I, I can't get caught so maybe LA will have better things to offer me maybe I won't run into no Chris Formage guys in LA I don't know but other than that ladies and gentlemen I made it away from the fucking law and fucking pigs didn't have nothing on me ah oh, shit look at this nice fuck ah oh, this that nice fucking bad fuck yeah Let's get up here. Oh, I physically can't, but yeah. Let's see, what's in here? I got like a... Oh, I got like a desk room shit. Oh, shit. Alright, well, I'm going to LA, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm just gonna sit. Sit, sit back and relax. So, sit. Yeah, let's... Sit in the chair. There we go. Alrighty. So, until I get to LA, I'll see you guys next time. Fuck the Wisconsin pigs. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully Dickie's alright. But we'll find out in the future episodes. Later. Hey! Listen!